So let's take a look at what we can find in the synthetic frog. So first of all, when you feel the frog, it feels um, really just like a frog specimen. It is smooth and kind of slimy. And um, of course this one foot is folded up, but sometimes that happens in the real frog specimens too. So no big deal. But um, the first step in my frog dissection is to find the throat, thorax, and abdomen. Obviously, those are easy to see in this model. And then to look in the mouth, and the mouth does fold back actually much more easily than a real frog's mouth, which is um, ends up being quite rigid. Um, and so you can fold that jaw back and see the tongue does flip out from the front as a frog's, a real frog's would. So the point of attachment is correct there. Um, you can see the eustachian tubes in the mouth. Um, the teeth are not as obvious as a real frog's would be. And that is one of the things that I do have students identify on the lab dissection that I do with the real frog. So that would be something that would be, need to be modified. But um, other than that, it's, it's fairly realistic. And so then we're going to cut into the frog so that we can see some of the internal structures. Oh yeah, I'm cutting tissue away from the skin. And so that is, that is surprisingly realistic, very impressive. Um, and I know that this company does make reusable models where you can um, insert a new set of organs when you're finished um, so that they can be reused and seen by other students. So it would be handy here to have some pins to hold those flaps back uh, while we cut in. And I'm going to pause here and get a little further into the frog. Okay, so we are now into the internal anatomy of the frog. And I did forget to show you the eyes of the synthetic frog. And they are, um, they're fairly realistic. The real frogs usually have their eyes shut, but um, this is, they're pretty realistic. And then they also have the tympanic membrane in um, behind the ear that you can see there. Um, the nictitating membrane over the eye is not as visible as it might be on a real specimen. And then I did cut into the frog here and as I was cutting through what would be ribs, um, that's made from this plastic, and it is fairly difficult to cut through, I think a little harder than the real frog specimen. So you should definitely have students wearing safety um, PPE, uh, gloves, aprons, goggles, just so that um, if anything is sharp or, um, fluids happen to jump out at them that they are um, still prepared for that because even though this isn't prepared with formaldehyde, it does still have chemicals on it and, um, and also obviously we're dealing with sharp objects. So just have your students be careful. So I removed some of the skin over the leg and you can see the muscle tissue under there, which is fairly realistic. Um, I would say not quite as easy to identify and see and obvious as on a real frog, but close. 
Um, and then now we're looking at internal organs and there is a layer of tissue uh, muscle over here laying over the internal organs, which I thought was pretty realistic. Um, students will have to cut that away and I needed to cut it away from the skin as well. So it is all attached like a real frog. Um, and you can see the liver in here. And as we cut up further, towards the head, you can see in here we have our lungs, which actually are a little bit easier to identify than in a real frog, and the heart is in here. And then again, the liver, multi-lobed liver and intestines, um, and the stomach should be in here as well. Let's see, I just don't know how hard to pull here. Um, so yes, yeah, stomach in here and we've got, um, eggs in this one, just like you might find in a real specimen. So, um, I will pull these out for you and we'll see what else we can find in this, in this synthetic frog. Okay. So we have, um, some things that you can see a little bit more easily now. Uh, this is the small intestine and the stomach. And the stomach honestly looks a little bit more identifiable on a real specimen, but um, the pancreas and the gallbladder are on the back here, and those are certainly more identifiable on this specimen than they are in a real one. They, students often have trouble finding those. And I pulled out the three-lobed liver and the heart. And so you can see the lungs in there. You can see the ovaries full of eggs. Um, I don't know if all of these are female or if they make male and female versions, I'm not sure. But you can certainly see the eggs and the oviducts um, leading down to the cloaca. And the kidneys, you can see in the back there. And those lead down to the bladder and the cloaca as well. So all in all, this specimen was way more realistic than I anticipated that a synthetic specimen would be. Um, it felt real, which means that your squeamish students may not find it an acceptable alternative, but your students that are concerned about animal cruelty and don't want to dissect a real frog specimen, I think this is a great alternative for them and much more realistic than doing virtual dissections. And so I strongly recommend that you go check out the giveaway and um, see if you can win one of these for yourself and for your own classroom. See ya.